Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to some of you and peace to the rest of you. Here's the deal. Um, now that we know more of what happened in Mark Gomez's case, and we know more about what was and what wasn't, we can more objectively analyze this and hopefully learn. See, Mark Gomez did something that was very embarrassing for anybody with a sense of shame to be caught on tape. We, on the other hand, made a lot of assumptions from what we could see. Now, granted, we didn't catch the first part, but that's because people start pulling out things and filming them after things jump off. So to make a long story short, um, we now know that Mark Gomez was, in his mind, protecting his fiance and daughter from a woman that had threatened to kill everybody. She was homeless, she was insane, I'm pretty sure, but she said she'd punch her, she said that she would punch his little daughter in the head. He tried to defuse the situation, she wouldn't just fuck the shuck up. So he acted in defense of his family, although he overreacted. I'm not saying that anybody should be out there stomping out elderly women. But then again, to be honest, because the video is not that clear and I didn't get nobody gets to see the very beginning. I couldn't tell um, if he knew how old she was and that she was homeless. So in all honesty, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest. If a woman threatens my child, even if she does not threaten the fiance, if she threatens my child, I would attempt to cover their escape first. But. If she made any move, I probably would stomp her out myself. So the people, the guys holding the camera screaming out world star and um, they never intervened. Well, now we know that one, he overreacted, but it was in defense of his family. The lady threatened to take out his family and the people holding the camera weren't even black. Now, what we saw was a man stomping out an elderly black woman. I didn't even see the video, but I heard about it. And all over, it was all, everything we heard about was black men hate black women. Black men are vicious to black women without provocation. It doesn't take anything. Um, she could not have done or said anything to provoke this. He wasn't, uh, there was no noble reason that he might have even thought about for a second. And these black men were filming and didn't do anything. Right off the bat. From the very beginning, all the worst assumptions were made and brothers, brothers didn't even stop to think, wait a minute, what are the facts of the case? Brothers didn't even stop to think that I said nothing about the incident because I wanted to know what some testimonies were going to be first. Guess what the testimony was? His fiance, last name Cox, came up and testified as to what the lady said and that he was trying to defend her, Cox, meaning Cox and their daughter. Brothers had nothing to say other than, oh, he's not ADOS. So we had to throw uh, non-USA uh, black people from under the bus so that we didn't completely look too bad. No, this is a black man defending a black woman and a black girl from another black woman, as far as he knew. We have one thing to get on this dude's case about, and that's the fact that he overreacted to do it and stomped out what might be a crazy woman. Yeah, we can get on him about that. But let's call a spade a spade, all racial puns intended. This was not a case of a black man just stomping out a black woman because she was helpless and defenseless. Just because he could. And other brothers like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, look at this. This is funny. It was not anything like that. Yet and still, many of us jumped to this conclusion. Again, FC, every time there is an opportunity, somebody's going to demonize black men with before they even are guilty. Black men, your guilt is not a necessity for you to be demonized. It never was. It's the age old story of America. If the black man is innocent, he's still guilty. And if he's guilty, then you blame him for twice the crime. This is part of the propaganda. And we black folks, men and women alike, have fallen for it. American and non-American alike have fallen for it. Now, I'm going to address why I called this a catch-22 in the title. 
brothers, if you do anything and there are cameras around, you are automatically wrong. Not just in the eyes of white folks. We don't expect nothing better from them devils anyway, do we? You better not if you got any sense. But understand this, black men, if you do anything with a camera on, you are wrong. You could go into a room, a waiting room with the camera, sit and wait until your name is called and you might still be wrong. Albert Wilson, his crime was underestimating the racism of where he was. He got 12 years for it. His crime was trusting white women. He got 12 years for it. Um, and I'm not comparing Mark Gomez to Albert Wilson. I'm simply saying that as black men, you must understand that it, there's not really a right thing to do. And here's how I'm going to prove it to you. As black men, if you were on a subway with your wife and your daughter and an elderly crazy woman talks to you like that, if you were in Mark Gomez's scenario and an elderly crazy woman says she'll punch your daughter in the head and stab all y'all, anything you do is wrong at that point. If you leave, you're wrong. If you just move the family, you're wrong. You're a punk for that even though you're avoiding stomping out a crazy lady. If you, you know, the only right thing for you to do is actually take the knife into your own stomach and die. Not just in the eyes of white America, even in the eyes of black America. So you must understand, black men, that you're not safe in America and you never have been. Black women aren't safe in America. The difference is that when it comes down to leaving the United States, you will find that there are more black men willing to leave permanently than there are black women. Willing to permanently get the hell out. And if they can't, they'll spend more time out the States. What is it, the reason? What's the reason that we're always staying in the States? Our mothers. It's not our fathers and then our brothers. It's our mothers and our sisters. That's the reason. It could be Brazil, it could be Gambia. Whatever the case is, brothers, your black manhood in America is a catch-22. Whatever you do, you're going to be harshly judged for it, either by your own community or by a judge or by both. There is no right thing to do once you are challenged. You might as well pick another nation, take what you can take to that nation and start over. It's the same thing. At least in another country, you're not as likely to be blamed no matter what you do because somebody else decided to start some stuff. I hope that this message has been of benefit. Salam alaikum.